So what we'll set up in this little tutorial is a big carpet hanging from the sky that we can actually interact with and play around with and have a lot of different effects with. So let's get into it. So what if we wanted to work with some cloth animations within Unity? The way to do this is first we need to add an empty game object. So we will right click our hierarchy and choose create empty. So this empty game object needs a component. This component is called cloth. As soon as we add the cloth, as soon as we add the cloth component, it'll add a skinned mesh renderer and it'll add the cloth component itself. The skinned mesh renderer itself is just the look of our cloth and the cloth component down here is then the settings for the specific cloth. So basically how it should move and act with the environment. So before we go any further, I want a first person controller in this scene here so that I can walk around and also at some point bounce into the cloth itself and interact with it. So what I'll do is I'll go to assets import package, characters. So just for making this a bit faster, I'll just, I will only select the first person characters. I'll just deselect the rollerball and third person characters. There's a, probably a lot of extra that I could deselect here, but for the sake of this tutorial and just making it faster, I'll do this. I'll go back to my scene view and now I'll unfold my standard assets, go to my character, first person character, my prefabs, and in here, I'll choose the standard FPS controller. I'll just drag and drop it into the scene. So now I have my first person controller here. I'll just move it up a bit. I will take my main camera here and I'll delete it. So now if I click play, I can actually walk around. And I can also start my animations from previously. Going back to the game object here. Right now it's just a empty game object. There's nothing in it. So it's just a point in space basically. We need to add a mesh to it. So this is where this mesh field here comes in. If we click the little dot here, we'll be able to select the different meshes that are already imported into Unity. So the entire robotic arm construction here with all of its components and all of Unity's standard components. So for now, or for this test here, I'll just add a plane, close it up. Right now it doesn't have a texture to it. So there's no so there's no color or anything to it, which is also why it's purple right now. Previously in the animation trigger tutorial, we imported a few assets, a few textures to the asset. So in here I have a texture called carpet. I can just drag and drop that onto that surface here. So now as you can see, it basically looks like a floating carpet. So I'll rotate it just about 90 degrees, like so. So now I would like to pin it to the top because otherwise as soon as I go into game mode, it just falls through the ground. So by adding some constraints, we can actually have it fixed at, at a specific point. So we will go to the edit constraints over here, click it. Now we're able to select these individual constraints. I find it easier to choose paint and then just basically click the mouse, hold it down and hover over these vertices here. So now we're done. We'll deselect edit constraints. And as soon as we play back, we can actually see the cloth here. So the biggest problem right now that we have is first of all, we can not interact with it. So we can just walk through it. But because it's a plane, it is one sided. So it basically just disappears as soon as we go on to the separate or the other side of it. The only way that we can fix that is by actually having a two sided object here. So what I did is I went into 3ds Max and I just made a box standard primitive box that is has a very slim thickness that doesn't have a lot of thickness, but it has two sides, of course. The color here doesn't matter. So I exported this as an FBX. So inside of Unity, I can just take my box FBX, drag it to my assets folder. So now it's actually located here. So if I select my game object, my empty game object, where my cloth is on, I can select the mesh again here, click it. And now my box is actually available, box 001. So I can select it and close. So right now, of course, this is a lot smaller. So we can just scale it up. So select scale, I will scale it up. So the constraints in this case, if we click it, they have been reset. So we'll have to go in and paint the constraints again. So select constraints and paint along the edges here. Might need to zoom in a bit. Deselect edit constraints. And now if we play back, we can walk onto the other side and we still have the same carpet visible. So now of course we would like to interact with this. So what we need to do is we actually need to set it up so that the collider of our first person controller is actually able to collide with the mesh that the cloth component actually generates. So the biggest problem that we have right now is that our FPS controller doesn't have a collider that is supported by the cloth. We actually have to add a component to the FPS controller. So going to the bottom, so selecting the FPS controller, going to the bottom of the inspector, clicking add component. I will just minimize this so that it's visible to you. And I'll write cap for capsule collider. So now we have added a capsule collider to our first person controller. We might need to zoom in because the capsule collider tends to be uh, smaller than the actual collider that the FPS controller has. So edit the collider, grab the small buttons or the small squares here and drag the collider so that it is 
almost the same size as the collider that is already on the FPS controller. Click edit collider again so that we deselect it. Go to the game object where our cloth is. And now we'll go to the bottom here of the cloth rollout where we have the capsule colliders. So unfold it. This is an array so we can add multiple colliders. In this case, we'll just need one, so one. And now we have element one visible here where there is none right now. So if we click the little button here, we can choose our FPS controller. We could also drag and drop our FPS controller into place. So double click it. Now this one is added to the cloth simulation. So as soon as I click play again, I can move into the cloth here and I can actually push it around. So like walking through a curtain basically. So cloth in Unity only supports capture colliders and sphere colliders. So if we would need some of the other elements that we have here to interact with the cloth itself, we would actually have to add either a capsule or a sphere collider to them. You have a lot of extra settings that you can play around with. I won't go into them right now because this is just a basic setup, but uh, try playing around with some of the settings, like for instance, the acceleration and the random acceleration. That'll make it look like the the carpet is basically blowing in the wind or something like that. So that is the basic setup of cloth in Unity. Thank you for watching.